Hey, what's up everyone? And yes, that's right, today is quite a historical day as Roblox is now playable in VR on Quest. And that's a big deal because as you may know, this game is the ultimate virtual universe where you can create and share experiences with friends and most importantly, be anything you can imagine. Roblox is one of the largest titles out there with millions of active players and featuring an infinite number of worlds for you to explore. It's known that the game is being well primarily played by kids and that's why some are really hating on it. But I don't think they realize that these kids are actually the future generation that will adopt VR faster than anyone else. And already kind of know what VR needs, not only in terms of social and entertainment, but also education and productivity. So overall, this is a very exciting and promising milestone that will just introduce more people to VR and gives our ecosystem a major boost for the long run. If you're open-minded and interested in checking out the beta of Roblox on Quest, then you can. I will make sure there is a link in the video's description. So with that being said, let's dive in and I'll show you what you can expect from Roblox VR on day one. So let's start with uh, something familiar, also known as Gorilla Tag. And to give you an idea of how big Roblox actually is, over 21 million players actually visited this particular world and nearly 4,000 people are playing it as we speak. This version is, I think, even more popular than the original. It's good to know that you always spawn in third person first and then if you want you can switch to first person by hitting the thumbstick which makes more sense for VR. Oh and here's the rest, great, we just uh, joined a new round of Gorilla Attack. It's kind of odd by the way that I'm not seeing my full body, I only see these controllers. It's like I'm a ghost and not a part of the actual game. Oh what a surprise, we're playing Forest instead. We got 10 seconds to run for our lives. This is a small version of it though. Maybe hide in a treehouse. I don't know. It's a very obvious spot, but then maybe not so obvious. I'm not gonna move. This is nerve wracking. <gasps> I can see him. And he's gone. Hopefully, in the upcoming weeks or so, you will be able to just climb. That would be so nice. Oh, this is a this is a perfect spot. I'm surely the last one. No. There's still two survivors. I'm very good at this. I just use the A button, that's all. <laughs> Whee! Bye! Ah! Wow. GG. Oh, I'm the hunter. And we're playing Canyon. What a surprise. This is definitely a work in progress. The visuals are sometimes glitching a little bit. And then you have the frame rate going all over the place. Plus, some maps don't even support the quest right now. Gotcha! Haha. <laughs> but that's why it's on App Lab, so you can help testing it. Come on, come on, buddy. Oh, oh, and he fell. He fell, oh, he's, oh, he's quick, he's fast. So in this one, I can't use my actual hands. It's not really interactive. I just use the jump button to get what I want. Every map, every world has to be adapted to VR, to its controls. And since this is like day one, the expectations are still low, but yeah, hopefully in a few weeks from now, those are the first steps of becoming an actual VR experience for real. That should be the last, I think. Let me open my UI again. Yeah, that's the last one. He's being surrounded. So that was a bit of gorilla attack. Let's, let's do something else here. So I just jumped into a world that allows me to play nerf battles in VR. And, oh, there we go, woo! And it's more interactive because I can actually use something for once. I don't know if he saw me. Oh, the render distance in this one is rough. Yes. Oh, I'm launching myself into, into the fight. Oh, I have uh, unlimited nerf darts. I can do this forever. Ooh, he's running away. Come back here. There's no escape. Oh, there's still one up here. Where are you? Show yourself. Oh, I just by accident jumped into the cannon, which wasn't a bad idea because I got a double kill. This is the most fun I've had so far. And now if I would be able to jump in with my friends and have a voice chat going, then, then we're golden. Okay, that was really fun. I'm gonna add this to my favorites. What the heck is going on over here? What are those sounds? Hello? 
That is so bright! And loud! Very loud. Oh! So we're about to enter the back rooms, huh? I'm a little bit spooked already, not gonna lie. I mean, I don't know what these kids came up with, but I'm sure they are going to terrorize me in ways I have never, never experienced before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what's that? There's like an earthquake happening. Oh no, 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 no. He disappeared. Oh, hey guys, what's up? I wouldn't go that way. I just saw one of your colleagues disappear. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Shrek! You kidding me? Why are you here? I thought it would be like this crazy monster. Oh no, all the monsters are out now. You see? <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, go that way. Bye. Hey, that worked. Let's just follow the arrows. Try to find an exit. I'm just done, done spending my time here. Oh, whoa! The gingerbread man. Sure. I'm not delicious, bro. Just saying. Ah, you're stuck. <laughs> ah! What the? Whole DreamWorks is here to stop me. Exit, exit. Yes. Yes. Oh, we made it. Whew, close one. <laughs> what the heck did I just play? I have no idea. Let's take a quick break from all this insanity and dive into Roblox. It's marketplace. This is where you can customize your avatar. This is mine. It's very basic. But on the left, you have many others. Some are free and others you have to buy. Gango fries, one of my favorites. You also have these gnomes, very detailed uh, avatar. This is getting into VR chat territories, right? A lot of people think that Roblox is only about those blocky avatars, but there is so much more to it. You would be surprised. Just play and discover. If you want though, you can stick with the classic Appearance and uh, even put on a penguin hoodie, the Pepsi shirt, a cute dog, and even accessories. I think you can be a cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a melon. Wow. So yes, there is just uh, a lot to buy. Oh boy, oh boy, this is too much for me. And then on the right, you can see how many favorites it has and how much you have to pay. So that's it. That's um, the store in a nutshell for the characters. You can't just try Roblox on Quest and not play an obby. So here we are, we're about to escape the school. <laughs> oh, we gotta set up the alarm. Smart. It's working, it's working, everyone left. I'm just gonna try to make my way out of here. Oh, a wet floor, my worst enemy. Look at me go, I'm the ultimate parkour master. I'm fast, I'm smart, I skip things, I'm efficient, that's it. So what now, do I just need to... Oh, I just need to walk up. So that's kind of what I'm missing. I just want to see hands. I want to see my actual arms. Oh, what's, what's all of this? Do I need to get past these? Uh... Oh, yes, I do. Oh, let's get to the door. Oh, oh, that worked. Oh, oh, that, that, that legit scared me. And he just took me out. You know what? Let's do one more. I found red light, green light. The Roblox edition. Whoa, I just woke up and look at how many players are in here. This is just something I have not seen that much in VR lately. Roblox is alive and kicking. It's nice that it now has VR support because there is just so much content and there are so many people you can connect with. It's just, oh, it just blows my mind. Oh, the doors are opening. Let's do this. I'm a little nervous. The pressure is real. <laughs> All those footsteps, it's just, it's just overwhelming. Oh, let's do this. Oh, oh noes. Let's run for our lives. It's hard to... Uh to play this while you're in VR because it's easy to just move a little bit. It's not fair. Those people are playing on iPads and stuff. And I'm just here doing my ultimate best to not die before the finish line. I got this. Almost there. I can smell the finish. Woo! I made it! I made it! 
And there you go, my friends. I'm sure I could have shown off a lot more of Roblox in VR, but this gives you a good indication, a good idea of what you can expect from the game when you play it on day one. It definitely needs a lot of work for it to really feel like a full-blown VR experience, but it's awesome to see a game like Roblox finally coming to virtual reality. As I said in the intro, its player base is the future generation who will see the potential of VR like no other. For now, it can use as many playtesters as possible, so if you want to give them feedback and help them make this the best VR experience possible, then give it a try on App Lab. There is a link in the description below. So that's Roblox for you. I'm someone who's always curious, wants to explore, wants to discover and check everything out that VR has to offer. So even in Roblox, I had a blast. It's the same for Rec Room. I love that game. I play it almost every day. But I do hope that in Roblox they are going to look at all the paid stuff because it's just overwhelming to constantly have it pop up in your face in VR. And it just seems like you have to pay for everything nowadays. And that's a shame because it takes away a bit of the magic and it takes away the immersion as well. It's almost like it's turning into that one scene from Ready Player One. So yeah, let's see what happens. I'm just very eager to see where this game is going to take us in the future. Until next time, and I will revisit this when they have more improvements going on. So stay tuned. Until next time, bye bye. Wait, what's going on over here? Someone is riding a... Uh... Ah, you know what? Never mind. <laughs>